What's up, everybody, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays from myself, Keith Mitchell, and Yara Hayden Production. Today, I want to go through a quick tutorial on how to adjust the trackpad on your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, which a lot of you have been using on the PC. Now, I'm also guilty of this. I think it's probably one of the better controllers that, that has been made in a very long time, and I really enjoy even over the Xbox One and Xbox Series controllers. Uh, that said, you can use Steam now. It has probably some of the best support thanks to the Steam Input API to use the DualSense controller within Steam. However, I've seen some people asking how to disable the trackpad or how to customize it because it's not very clear. So I want to go through and show you guys how to customize it and or disable it completely. First and foremost, you're going to want to make sure you have the controller configured set up within Steam. That means using either Bluetooth or using it over a USB Type-C cable. You can use either method because both are fully supported within Steam, which is great news. So I'm going to switch over to my Steam store. Okay, so we're in Steam. So what we want to do is we want to go up to the upper left-hand corner, go to Steam, and then go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, go down to Controller, and there are four options here. First one you want to check out is the general controller setting. And this is just to make sure that PlayStation configuration support is enabled because that is important and that it does recognize your controller. I have it in here. I identify my dual sense controller vibrates. We're good here. So we'll go back. And then the thing that bothers me about this is when you make a change in either the big picture mode or the desktop mode or the guide button mode, you have to go back and do it for each configuration. There is no apply to all, which is very disheartening. Hopefully Valve adds this at some point, but for right now you'll have to go through and make a change on each configuration. It doesn't take very long. It's just bothersome. All right. So first thing we want to do is we're going to go to the big picture mode. And as you can see here, I'll make this larger is I should have did that. When you go to the top or when you go to the trackpad, there's a couple options you can choose from. You can say swap to unified trackpad, or you can split it to a split trackpad. And then they'll have options below it. What we want to actually do is change it to a unified trackpad and then click on it. So right now I have in-game action set to none, which means this trackpad will not do anything for me other than act like an extension to the start and select buttons or the share and start buttons, which is great because I don't want them for anything else while I'm playing a game. But if you want to customize them, you can actually go down and change it to mouse cursor, generic, directional pad, D-pad, swipe input, swipe. You can, there's a couple different options you can do here. I have it set to none, but if you change it, it'll give you various options on how you can customize your trackpad. So I want mine to none, and then I will go back. So right now, when I use this D-pad, or when I use the trackpad, it won't do anything for a game, which is exactly what I want. And then you'll have to do the same thing for desktop configuration. I don't know why it minimizes. And I do it for both because sometimes it doesn't save it properly. So make sure you go through and do it for all. Same thing here. You can change it back to unified. You can change the button to make them a different couple options. When you change it to uh, split, you get more options in here. So you still have the D-pad, but you have, bu you have button pad, mouse, mouse joystick, scroll mouse, a bunch of other options. Again, I leave mine to none. I go back, I leave it as a split pad. So I get extended start and select options. Done, and then we'll do one more time with the guide button. Again, do it three times, just to make sure you're covering all your bases. Same thing here. I have it all set to none. So what happens now is now that this is set to none, when I play a game, it'll be an extension of the start and the select button or the share and the start buttons. And when I swipe the controller, when I swipe the D-pad, it won't go crazy in the middle of a game. So if I'm playing a game like Destiny 2 or something, it won't go spinning out of control and getting me killed, which is great. I know a lot of you have been saying that's exactly what has been happening. So when you follow these steps, you will either customize your trackpad or disable it completely within games, which is something that a lot of you have been asking. Hopefully this tutorial has been educational. And if it has been, be sure to like, comment, Leave us a comment. Either you like it or you don't like the, the video, maybe other questions, whatever, just do it and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell to know when new videos from us are released. And that's it. Hopefully you're having a great holiday, having a happy and merry Christmas. You're enjoying yourself. You're playing some games and you're staying safe. And as always, wear your damn mask. We're not out of this yet. We're still in it for the long haul.
Be safe to yourself, be safe to your family and your friends, and complete strangers. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.